Welcome to Maddie's World. Enter the world of networking, technology and gaming. Right. So guys, what we're going to do here is now we are going to create the VPC, you know, we are going to create our custom VPCs here. Right. So make sure whenever you are creating any VPC, right, you label them with their proper names right with your project names so next remember why you are creating vpc right what kind of layers you have on that on that basis just create your subnet because you know you are going to create the subnet on top of that you can give them some specific name or you can give them public private subnet and any other name let's say you can give them middleware you can give them database or some other names right so that you can specifically specify them right so here in our example what you're gonna do is we are going to create two subnets in one VPC the first is public and the second is private right we will call any instance we are launching in this public sub subnet should be accessible from outside but right and this private subnet should not be accessible from outside again when we talk about this should be accessible from public that means what all things should be accessible from the public right when we were seeing the security group tab humne kya decide kiya tha ki hum sab apni we are saying ki aapki jo bhi website hai wo 443 aur 80 rupees agar chal rahi hai and you are allowing them access publicly then give it but remember that do not give all the services like you are going ssh and everything over the public right protect them with the security group so this is what we're gonna do here in the same way the private subnet will remain private right those will be only accessible inside the you know from the public subnet or as per the security rules or guidelines we have specified here but somehow we might need to access the internet from these these public subnet and we will not be able to do it right so there is a way to do it we are going to use the net gateway for this we will discuss about that also the first task we are going to do is we are going to create subnet here I mean VPC so I will create one VPC here which is called the DevOps underscore VPC any name you would like to give and what CIDR range you would like to give you can give both IP version 4 and IP version 6 CIDR here remember this right so I am going to take the IP version 6 first so I would call it 172.168 8.0.0 slash 16 right so I'm saying I am taking this CIDR block here right further using this CIDR block I can create multiple subnet on top of this CIDR this means I am making a data center I am a data center network and on that data center network I can distribute it to multiple clients I can it to multiple clients my multiple projects here if you see the TNC again this is default and dedicated again that will depend on the cost if you want to keep it default that means it will be shared if you want to keep it dedicated then go ahead and put the dedicated one so are we gonna go with the shared one itself use the default here so go ahead and click on create so now you can see your VPC has been created with this VPC ID so just close it and go to your VPC again so you can see the VPC has been successfully created here right the next task for us to create the subnet I mean we have taken IP address ke range to leli, right now what do we have to do we have so big range IP address ke jamne itne badi range liye, hai, just IP range in which we have if you go ahead and see here go to CIDR block 16 ok let's go to the description and pull it down it might might have detail or not maybe nothing is there so you can see guys we have a a big range here right we have a thousands of IP here but how we can utilize them so for doing this we are going to create one uh, you can call it subnets here right so click on create subnet right give a tag name here subnet name what you wants to give it let's say I will call it DevOps 
private subnet right in which vpc default vpc or your new vpc so i want to create it over the devops vpc just select your vpc that you have created all right just come down and availability zones in which availability zone you would like to create it if you don't want to give it by default it will choose any of the zones so if you are looking for some specific zone you can select here the availability zone also so that's totally up to you okay so you can see here if you want to choose the availability zone you can choose here let's say i can choose it here 1a if you don't want to give so let's leave it here with no preferences so the next it is asking you what cidr block you would like to create pick here the by default it says this is the cidr range that you have so i will take 192.168.1.0 that means still i can make so many networks here let's do it 24 right cidr is not within the cidr range it is what i did so still guys you can see मैंने एक रेंज लिया वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट जीरो डॉट सॉरी वन डॉट जीरो तो वट एम टेकिंग इज मेरे को एक नेटवर्क मिल गया जिसमें मेरे दो सौ चौवन आई पीज हैं राइट इन द सेम वे मेरे को अगर एक दूसरा नेटवर्क और बनाना है तो वट आई नीड टू डू आई नीड टू टेक टू हीयर इन द सेम वे आई कैन मेक हीयर टू फाइव फाइव नेटवर्क राइट एंड टू फाइव फोर नेटवर्क हीयर एंड अगेन हीयर आई कैन हैव आई हैव ऑल्सो द लिमिट्स ऑफ थ्रूइंग दिस लाइक जीरो डॉट समथिंग राइट सो यू कैन मेक मल्टीपल नेटवर्क हीयर सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक हीयर वन डॉट जीरो so create it and close it in the same way i will create one another subnet here i will call it devops public subnet that means anything will launch in the subnet should be accessible from anywhere select your vpc Let's say no preferences at this moment again, and I will take one seventy two dot zero sorry one sixty eight dot two dot zero slash twenty four. So I'm I'm taking this range here. I'll go ahead and create the network subnets. So I'll close it now, guys. You can see I have created two subnets here. The first subnet call DevOps public, and the second one is called private. Right. So. we are done with creating our public of our vpc and our subnet right the next guy is now we know at this moment both the subnets are like private for us right if you launch any of the instance on those it may be they are not accessible from outside because these in these subnets do not have a public gateway i mean internet gateway so the another task for you to guys to create one internet gateway when you was doing from wizard it was creating automatically one internet gateway and attaching it with your subnet right here what we need to do is we need to create one internet gateway and what is internet gateway right internet gateway is the device which takes you from so whatever the traffic is coming that is coming to the internet gateway then internet gateway is throwing it to the outside that's what it is called the internet gateway right so any of your instances i mean subnet need internet that should be in attached to this internet gateway but remember this the internet gateway would always always attach to your vpc right you just have to click on create internet gateway and give one name here i will call it devops int gw i'm calling it devops internet gateway so make sure you give some proper names to them so let's do small this models let's go ahead and create it so you can say your internet gateway has been successfully created and this is in detach mode right now so you would like to attach it to your internet gateway i mean to your vpc so go ahead and select your vpc here and done All right so now your internet gateway has been created successfully right and your vpc has been created your subnet has been created now you need to <coughs> create route also where you have to tell how your traffic will flow 
right this is how your route work in the you know any of the operating system you would be working on right so here we will create two route again i will create one devops public underscore route and i will select my vpc here we'll go ahead and create it and we'll close it in the same way i will create one another route table which is called the devops private underscore route and select your vpc right and you are done with your route creation now <clears throat> what you need here you need to go to your public route and define your routes here what exactly you are looking for how your traffic should flow right so just come bring it down and edit the route so if you see default route guys it says if the destination is 172.168.0.0/16 and the target is local right then the traffic should flow right if the communication is within this range here i mean in the cidr then the traffic should flow but what if i want to send send my traffic to the outside to the internet so i have to add route here right so i would say if the traffic anything 0.0.0.0/0 .0 .0 what about the traffic right from inside kahin se bhi koi bhi traffic aa raha ho is route ke upar from inside right and it should be internet gateway right it should throw traffic to the internet gateway and you can save your route and close it once you're done with this you'll have to go to the subnet association and you'll have to also associate the subnet where you want to serve the internet so by default you see in this vpc you have two subnets public and private you can scroll it down and see it you know not coming up okay let's select here this is my public subnet i know this right so this is so once you associated it just go ahead and save it okay now you know we have done three things here we said we have created vpc which is called devops vpc we have created two subnet the subnet says devops vpc i mean public and private we created one internet gateway because if you any you know if you are any of your subnet need internet i mean you sh you should have internet gateway available in your vpc so that's what we have attached we this internet gateway with the vpc then we created two route one is called the public and the another one is called a private so with the public route we attached you know we cre we created one rule which says anything coming from inside your instances that should be redirected to this internet gateway that means anyone going to access the internet should be redirected to this internet gateway then further this internet gateway should check which subnets are allowed right to which ip it should take outside that's what we have allocated the subnets here so it will check the rules that we have specified route here we'll check the subnet and will provide the internet accordingly and outside accessibility right the another you see the private subnet private subnet means in, in inside the communication is available here that means anything in the cidr is accessible mean किसी भी सबनेट में कोई भी इंस्टेंस हो दोज विल बी एबल टू एक्सेस ईच अदर इफ दे हैव सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप एलोकेटेड लेट्स से आई वांट टू क्रिएट सम सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप आल्सो इन दिस वीपीसी सो यू विल हैव टू स्क्रॉल इट डाउन हियर एंड व्हाट इज दैट हियर इज द सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप राइट so i am going to create some security group here that i don't need so 
I'm gonna create one security rule also just for a demonstration. I will call it public SG and I will select my VPC here and we'll create it. Okay, I'll have to give the descriptions also here. It's public SG. Let's go ahead and create it. Close it. In the same way, let's go ahead and create one private subnet SG also. I'm not like labeling the things right now so let's go ahead and create it so now you have also created two subnets right two subnet group on this VPC that we have recently created right now you can also specify the rules here for a more protection let's say what exactly you would like to allow custom TCP rules would you like to allow 22 let's say I would allow 80 from anywhere again custom rules I would allow 22 from my IP only remember it never ever open your IP address publicly from your organization right otherwise you can keep the custom rules also you can just go ahead and find what is your IP address of or gateway of your organization where you can go ahead here and find what is my IP address let's say I'm gonna say 4 here alright so you will be getting your gateway this may take some time this is trying to find the IPv4 right so just find your gateway either check with your you know who is managing your firewall in the office your organization and accordingly add the rules like don't do the things blindly if you keep the things open right this can be very dangerous for you so just go ahead here and write put your IP addresses here right so that's totally up to you how you want so you can if you do my IP address so it will take only the same IP address here right but this will be one gateway if you want to you know like uh, keep the multiple IP addresses then you can go ahead and you know select another ranges here else also so this is both the things would remain same so that's totally up to you how you're gonna manage this and save the rules All right and for private SG we can say add rules we can call let's say 22 is accessible from public SG right and also some database port 3306 sorry 3306 which is called the MySQL port which is also accessible from the public SG right so whatever you want to allow unnecessary do not allocate and whitelist any port until and unless that is not needed make sure it's and I have seen many people are doing such mistakes so please don't do that right so remember those things at this moment we are just opening these two ports only. so we are done with all things now right we have successfully created one secure network for us again I will recall it one VPC with two subnets public and private we have created routes right which subnet should go to outside and which should not we have created internet gateway internet gateway is basically defines which subnet you know can go to outside you know and which will be you know available over the internet and we have also created one security group to secure our network so the next term for us is launch our instances are in custom network whatever the network we have created we are launching our instances on that network right so now go to EC2 again go to instance section okay now launch new instance here all 
okay so I'm going to take the custom image here I mean the default image so I'm going with the free tier eligibility at this moment so now I need one instance only so here you will get chance to select your own network here now right so I selected here my DevOps VPC that I have created and you'll get now your subnets here so if this is your web server so launch this in public subnet or you can assign and public IP address to it so that's fine I'm doing it right so next I'm not changing anything because I am only launching my instance in the security group right away all right you can see this is my sub I mean VPC and this is my public subnet because this will be my web server and will be accessible from outside that's what I'm giving the public IP address to this also even if not needed if you have any uh, you can say some jump server you have created in your network you can allow you know whitelisted in your security rules so even you can disable it you can add it under the load balance rule. you will see that also right go ahead and click on add storage going with the default storage we'll add one tag here name web server make sure the n always should be capital otherwise you know you'll not be able to see the tag click on configure security group and select an existing security group that you created which is my public security group right so you can also verify the rules what rules are available here from my office organ office i'll be able to access my ssh but from outside it is open for all Vivian launch click on launch so i'm going to use the devops one key launch instance wow we are, we are done with this so let's go ahead and create one another instance which will be our database server or our middleware which will be in the private subnet so select this instance here configure instance detail select your VPC and now we're gonna select our private subnet here and we do not need a public IP address because this is this instance we are not going to access access from outside and this instance do not need to be publicly accessible anyway that's what we have disabled our public IP address remember never ever keep your database middleware your application servers over you know public IP addresses okay let's go ahead and add storage we're gonna go with the default storage and we're gonna add the tag here name I will call it DB here we go and create you know assign one security group we have already created the security group and security group let's go ahead and check the rules and we are saying 22 should be accessible from the web public server SC and 3306 should be accessible from here apart from that everything should be blocked from this machine as well as from the outside right go ahead and click and review click on launch select your key select your key and launch the instance right so let's verify the instances now so here we go one instance web server has been created so still coming up so it has been allocated a public IP private IP not public yet as to it so meanwhile what I'm doing is so I'm just provisioning on elastic IP so uh, sir, ek bar sir, public, public subnet ke andar ek it didn't get pu one public IP right so I will quickly allocate one public IP here so you can go to the elastic IP so elastic IP is basically you know you can say uh, you can allocate maximum five number of elastic IP in one region right make sure these are a free of cost right but if you do not allocate them if you allocate them if, if you do not assign them you misuse them they will charge you so make sure whenever you are creating them deallocate them also so I'm just taking it from the IPv4 pool itself So this has been allocated now. I will just assign it. 
let's go to action associate elastic IP I will attach it to the instance and my instance is web server and here we go this is the private IP okay this has been allocated so let's go up it should have been public IP now here we see one public IP 4 is available so let me see if I am able to access it now copy to clipboard used my key here so let's go to tap option ppk right so you can see this instance is accessible from my end right if you guys try to access it you will not be able to access it just have a look right so meanwhile i'll quickly install you can try it now access ka matab ye nahi hota ki you are not able to ssh it you will get the prompt this is my question actually because the rule we have specified it says this is blocked for everywhere 22 this will be only accessible from my organization itself or from my gateway anyone tried So, but if you try to access the website which is just open over the 80 that should be accessible for everyone right you can see the test is opening and if you try to access it i mean you already have the ip right you'll be able to like do ssh i mean sorry open the page can you do that quickly and confirm sir yeah my query is mm -hmm. so, so this makes sense right website is accessible but you guys are not able to do SSS to my instance right but if you see the DB instances so these DB instances are not in public subnet right it has only private IP addresses but whatever the port we have open you will be able to do telnet from here and if you try to do SSH even if you will be because you have allocated it and if you try to turn it over the DB port, you'll be able to do it, right? So the DB and other instances will be secure in, in this subnet, right? In this subnet and with this security group that you have allocated here. The next target we have is now I want my this DB instance to access internet. I want this DB instance to access the internet but we should not be able to access this DB from the outside but this DB should be able to access internet Google and pick the updates for patching anything so for that we will have to use the net gateway so we're gonna discuss it about later